Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. We have closed down the weekend with plenty of clouds, a chillier air mass. Those clouds now, though, starting to thin across the valley, and that's going to lead to a big temperature tumble through the overnight. One of the reasons that we have an impact night across the area. We're seeing that all across the board. It's been happening in spots like Hershey as well. That's a live glance in this way to place on Earth out over Chocolate and uh, Cocoa Avenues. High pressure starting to build in as this area of low pressure starts to work away from us. That's brought rain to parts of the mid Atlantic. You can see just a little bit of cloud cover still out across the mountains, but overall we are going to see some improvement through the rest of the night and with high pressure taking over, it's going to lead us to plenty of sunshine for our day tomorrow. And with that high starting to build our way, the wind has dropped a fair amount, especially compared to yesterday. Still sustained around five to 10 miles per hour, but some spots are even lighter than that, if not calm, like what we have in a Gettysburg. So between that and the clearing sky, temperatures are dropping, already closing in on the freezing mark. In York, we have uh, 39 now in Lewistown, 47 in Carlisle. The same goes for those of you in Lebanon. It is 42 here in Lancaster. And as they continue to dip through the remainder of the night, we're expecting readings to get close to the freezing mark to the northwest. That's why we have freeze warnings in play from 2 in the morning through 8 a.m. Monday. And then frost advisories here in those purple shaded counties for potential frosty conditions, maybe a quick scrape out on the car tomorrow morning. Now, if you are wondering, hey, is this normal? Are we close to our average last freeze? Usually it's April 11th. We're a little bit later than that. Now, 10 days beyond that for the heart of the valley, but for our northwestern counties, just to name a few, Perry, Juniata, Mifflin, the average last freeze for you is April 21st. So that's today. So par for the course in that regard, but we are expecting even some cooler temperatures to go throughout the next 10 days. And we'll talk about that in a moment. We are expecting the cooler air to the northwest, closer to freezing, closer to the 40 degree mark in our metro areas. Tomorrow morning, after starting out cold below normal, we are expecting plenty of sunshine, low to mid 40s for us. By the afternoon, we're gunning for the low to mid 60s under that abundance of sunshine. So overall, not a bad kickoff to our work weekend. It's pretty nice for Earth Day if you have plans to get out and about, but the bad news is still dealing with uh, the pollen out there. Oak, birch and maple, the contributing levels there. Air quality in the good category, which is great, but with more sun, we're going to have a quicker burn time around 35 minutes. Here's predictor. We can see those clouds continuing to thin out, decreasing as we head through the wee hours of our Monday. Going to have that northwesterly breeze ushering in that drier air. It's going to be seasonable for this time of the year, below normal, but closer to average. You can see we hold on to the clouds, just a few from time to time during the heating of the day. But overall, plenty of sun after that frosty start. Middle 60s by the afternoon, 60 by the evening. Still might need a light hoodie if you have plans to maybe do a little yard work later in the evening. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day does feature some more rain chances. At least we're going to be close to 70 if you have plans to get out and vote on Tuesday. We're back into the lower 60s as this clipper system works our way on Wednesday. Not a washout, but we are expecting some showers cooler behind that Thursday for the opening game for the Revs. Then we're back into the 70s heading into this upcoming weekend. And it looks like we could have some uh, showers and storms to contend with really from Saturday all the way through the first half of the following week there, McKenna. At least we'll be dry and warm for heading out to the polls on Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks.